What's up guys? Welcome to Draw School episode 6. On this episode, I will be teaching you guys how to draw the ears and how to draw the hair. So let's just jump right in. Oh, I forgot. Roll my intro! Okay guys, so let's draw some ears. So first, let me give you guys a quick recap on where the ears are. If you guys remember the head from the first episode, something like that. If you guys remember if the eyes are here, this would be where the ears go here and to the bottom of the nose, like so. so nose, ears go there. All right, so let me just put that up here as a reference to where they go. Okay, so ears are pretty easy. They look difficult, but they're pretty easy. So what you wanna do is, if we're drawing ears from the front view like this, let's draw one ear. And look at our reference over here, guys, to the left. So you draw the shape of the ear, which is like a C, a backward C, or forward C if it's the left ear. This is their left ear, the right ear, when we're looking at it, so this ear. I usually draw like this, a shape like that, take a line like this, and draw this part of the ear right there coming out. So it's like another. So you draw this like weird shaped E and then you draw like a little circle like this. This is where the ear hole would go. Usually shading coming out of there because it's dark. So that's this part right here. This line right here, right here. And then I draw a little line like this kind of curving upwards which is this here, or this here, this here. And another line coming like this all the way down. And that's it, really. You just have to shade it correctly in the right spots like that. This part's dark, and then there's gonna be shadow under here, obviously. Now ears are a thing like where you can draw them exactly like that every time, but people do have differences in ears. Some people have earrings, different places. Some people have earring there, there. There's different earrings. Sometimes people have different cartilages, like this person right here has a more of a raised cartilage. That's something that you would take care of as you're shading. So you would make this dark and you would have a, a light point to show that it's coming out at you more. Some people have different, the tracheas? Is that what that is? Somebody write down in the comments if that's correct, tracheas for this little part right here. I think that's what it is. Probably the part that's really unique in everyone is the trachea. It probably looks different in every kind of person. This is another thing. There's attached lobes and free lobes. So you can draw an ear that goes straight attached, or you can draw an ear that has a free lobe. Just to do it, let's do the other ear down. So this is gonna be a pretty short video. Maybe not, because we're doing the hair next. All right, so stylizing some ears. Well, you guys probably seen cartoon characters just have giant ears or little ears. Sometimes they're weird shapes. Then you have elf ears. And you can still do the same thing. Just a line like that, like that, and like that. Ears are kind of fun to draw, actually. And sometimes I stylize ears a lot just by doing this on cartoons. So that's a cartoon ear. Sometimes I do just one line like that. That's an ear or maybe have a little guy like that. Sometimes I get real funky and I do that. Sometimes you can just make them real stylistic and just do that. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna finish up an ear real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finished two ears real quick. I put some earrings on this one just to see something different, another ear. Uh, so let's just go ahead and move on to hair now. So hair is a little tricky. So I figured we'd use most of this video to teach that. We have a base of a head, just a generic head. Let's add some hair. All right, so we're gonna start with breaking the hair down into clumps. Right, so you see this whole area right here. We're gonna break that down into a clump. And then we're gonna break this area into a clump, this area into a clump, and this area into a clump. And you'll see why we do that. So first you wanna find out where her hairline is, right? Which is 
here and then it kind of cuts across her face right here and you got to pay attention to the hair growth like the way the hair is growing in her case growing like from her forehead like this and going around her head in that direction so it's starting here on her head and it's going this way don't worry about the individual strands just the clump goes like this and it kind of like curves around like that and it curves out like that that's a clump so then she has hair coming out like here and it's waving this way it's waving this way but then it curves that's a clump so this clump right here is coming out of this one and going down like this and then the bottom you can get a little crazy and just add some swirls so I'm just paying attention to these swirls like that. Now again, we're using it as a reference. We don't have to do exactly like the picture because all these videos are trying to teach you guys how to make your own characters from reference. So we have that clump and we just have the left side of her face. All right, so basically we just have a little clump here that goes down and that's grown from there too. And then another clump down here. If we were to draw the neck, go like that. So now we have the clumps ready to go. Now you wanna add implied strands is what I call it. You're not gonna sit there and draw each piece of hair, right? You're gonna imply that, which means you're gonna give the hair some texture to make it look like there's a bunch of strands. All right, so what I like to do is I like to start from where it grows. Here's where I actually do a few strands, probably the only place. And I kind of throw them like that. Because you want to make where it attaches to the forehead. Not a straight line because that just looks unnatural. And you got to get the direction. You really want to show the direction the hair is growing. So it comes from here. It soups up. Implied strands or faking each strand. So I would just add a few. So here's one there. And then I might add one here. Just kind of like following the direction of her hair. Let's try one there. Just a few of those there. See, it already looks cool. You didn't draw a million individual hairs, but you're giving the impression of the way the hair is waving and going around the head. This hair right here, she curled it. So it's kind of going like this and then quickly going like that. We'll draw some strands going like that and curving around the clump. And then here it's more straight down to this clump. It's looking good. And then here we're gonna take it from this spot down and we're gonna connect this one like this, go around to these. Kinda wanna like throw your lines a little bit as you're drawing, so it's like a soup. It'll be a little loose with it. You don't wanna be all stiff, like we do soups. So you throw some soups. So there we have some cool curls going up. You can draw all the lines, but enough to imply what her hair is doing, how she styled it. This clump is probably just like that, a few like that. And there we have it. That is some hair. So let's talk about how we would render this. So usually at the roots, the hair is going to be darker. So you would add some dark there. And also because it's in shadow, because this hair up here is kind of like on top or like waving over this area right here. There's going to be a shadow there, right? And it's going to leave a shadow on her face as well. Not on hers, obviously, because she took a professional photo and they lit her really well. But in real life, someone will probably have a shadow on their face from the light if the light's coming from up here. So the roots are dark and then where they connect or tuck behind is going to be dark. Down here is probably going to be dark. You bring it up like this. Then you got to think which piece of hair is over what. So if this piece of hair here is over this piece of hair, then there's going to be a shadow here. If this piece of hair is over this piece of hair, there's going to be a shadow here. And this one's connecting, so you fade it there. It's a little bit there, a little bit there. And there's always a shine spot in here, and I'll show you guys that in a second. All this clump right here is coming from under here, so this is kind of in shadow. And you just pick and choose what you want to do. So this part right here, this clump is over this clump. Picking and choosing where you throw shades. And look at your reference. At the bottom here, shading up, shading from the roots here, going up because it's curving. And this is probably going to be mostly shadow close to her neck because it's creating a shadow there. And then you apply some of the stuff. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. But you're not done yet. You could say that's done. If you want to go further, this is what you can do. All right, so now we add highlights. Like I said, she's super well lit. So it's nice and even tones around her from the professional photographer who set up the lights and all that good stuff. 
but we are thinking about real world situations here. So let's add some highlights. So usually around this area right here, we can add some shine because that's where the, the light's hitting most. And this is where you can, again, add texture to make it seem like you drew every single line, but you really didn't. You're just, you're just adding some texture, you know? Definitely here, this looks like it's a piece of hair that's sticking out further than a lot of the rest of the hair. Now, doesn't that look like we drew a bunch of hair, but we really didn't? That's what we want to do. Last step. No, this is when, when you get into the fun stuff. Now, if I took my time and I refined this, if you guys took your time and refined this and made it super cool, then it would look even better than that. To add even more realism, we do the Lucy's. It's impossible to just have perfect hair all the time. And you might not like these. You might like, not like Lucy's. You might want your character to have perfectly groomed hair, and that's cool too. But I just find that just adding a couple Lucy's here and there, even if you want it to look super perfect, then whatever floats your boat. I like Lucy's. And I think that's it. Again, however much time you spend on your on your drawings is as good as they're gonna be. Wherever you decide to stop them, that's, that's when it's finished. So you can work on the drawing for as long as you want to, really. And that was a tutorial on hair so hope you guys like the video Well, that was it guys hopefully you learned a lot about how to draw ears and hair on the next episode i will be teaching you guys how to draw the torso don't forget to subscribe hit the like button leave me some comments i will be giving away an illo sketchbook at the end of every month so see you guys on the next one